welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna be checking out the super exciting um, new patch notes coming out today for uh, May 23rd, depending on what day your time zone is, as we get some new content coming into Naraka Bay Point. Woo! Here's the patch notes. The abnormal disturbance escalates a mysterious force from beneath the earth is affecting certain areas of Holleroth, Plume Castle, and Fairyland Peg Life. Hero adjustments! So we got Liam, uh, Liu, improve the animation of binding the enemies by Auric Sword for a better visual experience and added a progress indicator for the remaining time of enemies controlled by Auric Core, visible to both uh, combatants. We've got Soul Jade adjustment. The Spear Soul Jade added um, the melee on away and directional turning effect to the third stage of erudition. Realm of Yang. Gates of Yang appear on the battlefield and you can interact with them to get a Yang Pass. Only with a Yang Pass can you enter the Realm of Yang. Players that are defeated or venture too far for the Gated Ring will drop their pass. Entering the Realm of Yang will restore some health, armor, and rage. Defeat those who oppose you in the Realm of Yang to win equipment and material. All the changes are available in solo survival modes so i'm confused does that mean you just can't go into yang unless you have that it's just weird so like if you get to the i guess instead of waiting you grab it and instead of and like i don't understand what the point of that is okay let's 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 watch it Okay, so you're in the... I am just confused. Uh-huh. Two remaining. You have it. So, okay. Remaining zero. I'm confused. Can you not attack each other in the circle? What's the point of this? Okay, so he has the realm pass now. If you leave, it it, it drops it. Okay. I guess we'll see, but I feel like normally you know where it's going to pop up. And then you just run around and wait for it. I, I don't know. I guess they're trying to alleviate that. I still don't feel like that necessarily changes things. Personally... All right, feature optimization. Um, the late timing remain drops after defeating an enemy under certain conditions. Hot potato! Hot potato counter. Solo battle is now a point scoring mode with victory going to the first player to reach a set number of defeats. Hot potato counter. Fight together is now a round based mode with victory going to the team um, that first reaches a set number of winnings. At the start of the game, the hot potato will, uh, will appear randomly in front of a player. Upon hitting a player, it will not disappear but will rise and chase the next objective hot potato counter solo battle you will go back to the field after a period of time when you are eliminated by the hot potato introduce hot potato level leveling curve rules for the potato common attack speed up the potato increase to level one blue to level two counter and catch to level three and skill to le increase into level four a technique that is greater than or equal to the current potato while boost is speed okay okay in-game achievements added the following in-game achievements to survival mode. Um, team player get three assist. Lifesaver revive one teammate by rebirth charm and duty fulfilled. Complete three in-game team quests. Remove the following in-game achievements. Mighty Mortal, Lurker, Treasure Hunter, and Fickle Fortune. Um, okay. Okay. Out of game adjustments. Auto restyle for star collection restyle. Results restored using a rollback orb during the auto restyle process will not be evaluated for restyle objective completion. And then collection leaderboard. Collection leaderboard will be finalized on um, for every Monday. If you're ranking in the top 500, you will receive a title. Will expire in seven days. Yay! Yay! Because I'm, I think I'm like top 500, so that's kind of cool. Um, uh, showdown adjustment, soul, uh, soul jade, uh, deconstruction. Use the soul jade deconstruction, um, feature in the preparation. Soul jade select interface. All epic and legendary soul jades can be deconstructed into soul jade fragments. With epic ones yielding one and legendary yielding four. Soul jade carrying rare attributes will yield a flux jade shard after deconstruction. So consume two flux shards to imbue soul jade once converting an attribute of any soul jade to a random rare attribute 
Um, players can now revive their teammates in Showdown. When a player has um, remaining rebirth, their teammates can revive them using rebirth feed. Oh. Recast adjustments. Recast um, is split into recast attributes and recast value. <laughs> Each recast consumes two soul jade fragments and one carved crystal. Choose an attribute of a soul jade to recast. The recast attribute will randomly change with the stats proportionally inherited pre recast stat max stat uh, post recast stat max stat each. Recast has a chance to produce a rare attribute after a certain number of recasts. You can specify the next recast to be any non-rare attribute. Um, choose any attribute of a soul jade to recast. The value has a chance to um, increase after the recast. The higher the value, the lower the probability gaining an increase. That makes sense. Um, carved crystal obtained by completing any stage with fatigue, consumption, or, or via weekly quest and show down and the old recast feature will continue for a while but quench crystals producing it now only available through showdown store and heroes assemble quench crystals can be used in the old recast system and as a replacement for card crystal in the new one after the old recast feature is removed those crystals can no longer be obtained pay attention in the future announcements why do they keep making so many different currencies i feel like there's too many currencies in the game um and they're not super like easy to keep track of and of course like I, like all of the the berries got renamed and everything in the healing items which i mean it makes sense but yeah there's like the tay and then there's the gold and then there's like why do we even have hero coins like it just it's a little too much i think that just overall it's it's a little convoluted and i think they're getting better at it but then like right here like we're getting rid of quench crystals and we're gonna make them carve cr like why just swap them just swap them i i don't know like it's just a little there's too many words for everything can we just like like there's like showdown store heroes assemble this store this store this store this store this store too much too much sorry sorry to get lost in the sauce i just i felt like pointing that out because i find myself when i'm reading these patch notes that i get super confused and and forgetful and i i really have to sit and be like what was that like you know and like i i just doesn't like click really easily to me um that's my my critique so um combat adjustments we should still be in showdown adjustments to frostbite the freezing effect after accumulating maximum frostbite is now delayed uh there's a new visual indicator for it adjustment to divine thunder increase the strike range of divine thunder triggered by enemies when their thunder shock is full um extended the start of frames for tracking bullet move of the fiery monster the binding array move of fiery monster has been adjusted increase the area of the anima ring for a hydro flare pyroblast and the anima ring hydro flare Underwater Draco now triggers a soak strike upon hitting the area. Increase the burn damage for scorching by 83%, which is a lot. Um, hero adjustments T and High Divine Bell in Showdown now includes a striking effect on surrounding enemies, so it's more impactful and useful. Um, optimize the Showdown skill and potential patterns for all heroes uh, with unified corner labels. I don't, I don't know what that means. Um, Soul Jade adjustments. Yushan's Shadow, new effect. Uh, once carrying full frostbite, using yourself caused by full frostbite can be blocked by diffuse. Ooh, that's that's fun. That's fun. Okay. Um, the damage multiplier of Matron of Yushan's Shadow has been adjusted from 12 to 8.4, so it's a little less. And when using the diffuse counter attack martial skill, the damage multiplier of her is correspondingly reduced by 30% as well. Optimize the issue of repeated sound effect from Tundra Might when Sub Zero Seal is equipped. The Matron of Yushan set has replaced the Awakening set in the recommendation of free training and added sub attributes which boost the damage of melee and ranged weapon attacks. Um, the original uh, weapon specific damage bonus attributes will no longer be gained through new soldiers. Blah, blah, blah. Um, omen adjustments. Omen's Ice Flower and Thunder Plasma now include a range indicator before Activision or activation, I'm so sorry, uh, with the duration of Thunder Plasma reduced and feature adjustments. And the highest sense level of all current heroes is lower than the recommended level when starting the um, showdown stage or reminder window will appear. I don't really need that reminder, but okay. Um, feature optimization. So the client optimized UI animation execution efficiency to enhance game smoothing. That was a mouthful. In-game optimize the performance of climbing, fix the issue of unable to climb over low barriers and Xbox optimization 
optimization improved terrain rendering to decrease CPU load during terrain drawing and enhanced average frame rate, which is awesome. And then we got all the exciting stuff that's coming out. We have the new Zai exclusive pack, uh, Operation Appetizer pack, and we have... <laughs> <laughs> and we have <laughs> uh and we have the added weapon skin pack which is cluck cluck crow crow pack <laughs> and newly added shale outfit <laughs> operation beverage and then we have yeah the, some of the kurumi stuff uh feria and valda uh stuff on sale um let's go check those out <laughs> so uh we have these super pretty outfits coming out for Zai and Cheol. Ooh, it's really cute. I like the chains. I like the gloves. Like they're just like palm gloves. The top of it's really pretty with the sleeves and the cutouts. It looks so nice. I really, the shoes are very interesting. I'm excited to see the hat in game as well. And then we have, okay, what is she holding? this like i want to know does she get like this little rice guy accessory like I, I it's really cute though look at those heels the pants are really fun i feel like old school like valda style stuff and the sleeves are really pretty i'm excited to see these in game and then we've got a little something something so <laughs> this is this the cluck cluck pack here we go <laughs> when you shoot it it's dude this is gonna be so annoying <laughs> dude no why do they have like bondage ropes on them god they're already up oh man great and they're very cheap uh that pack is for both is 360 yeah and it's gonna get be 3000 in the future so yeah um fix an issue where kurumi occasionally had abnormal horizontal movement when use uh speed when using skill in certain oh uh, did they get rid of the kurumi zoomies it, did they get rid of the kurumi zoomies Oh, I know people are going to be sad about that. Fixed an issue where Tarka failed to release uh, Flame Force, Flame Force Showdown, Fireball, under ultimate, yeah, 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 states occasionally. Fixed an issue where Lamb using Aura Core cannot envelop Sheol. Um, was not yet under the, the Black Tortoise and fixed an issue where mismatch between striking range of Tarka, performance special skills, weapon related bug fixed an issue, uh, strike duration of the Graceful Pearl Swords, uh, scale rush moves was too long, uh, showdown bugs fixed an issue with Yama Abyss where the water ominous beast could leave the combat area. <laughs> <laughs> that was fun. And fix an issue where the Thunder Plasma mechanism strike location might be slightly off. And for Xbox and PlayStation related bugs, fix the issue of indoor lighting to prevent excessive darkness on certain monitors. And that was the patch notes. Make sure you guys like and subscribe. Comment down below if you guys are excited and get to buy any of these new skins and which one's your favorite. And let me know what you are excited about and when you guys think the new map's gonna come out and make sure you guys subscribe to keep up to date with all the naraka updates and stuff bye